So here are a couple of skill sets you need to have as a technical product manager. Um, number one, technical depth. Now, you can call me Mr. Technicalist because I'm always about the technical aspect of it. Now, for technical depth, you must be able to understand the product technically very deeply. You should be able to understand the architecture, how it is built, the stack that is being used. And in some cases, as, a, as an added um, bonus, we, you should be able to read the code base and understand what is really going on. Like I take for example, when we were building um, the um, working capital loans um, program, in, it got to a point, an extreme case where I had to, <laughs> I had to get my hands dirty by writing code. So yeah, that is one part that I do not, I would not shy away from technical depth. It can be really difficult to um, succeed as a TPM if you don't communicate with the developers properly because the developers are the ones you're talking to on a daily basis. So if you don't have the knowledge and the experience as guys what they've done, developers would stay in white basically. So you need to be able to communicate with these guys to be able to influence their decisions on their level. You need to let me understand out. I've done this before. I know what you're talking about. Let's try it this way or do this because this is the best way to do it. But it, that will be really difficult if you've not gotten some software development experience. It makes product developer conversations easier. You're able to um, listen to the engineer and understand what he's saying. He says, hey, I need this API. This API is not working how I want it to work. This API is failing. Um, this is not what I'm expecting. This is not how the API should be structured. It's a lot of technicality. There's a time when um, my team had to um, deliver a feature which involved creating wallets for BRMs to receive their card earnings, right? Um, so I needed to collaborate with the payment team to give us um, endpoints to create wallets for BRM. So I went to meet their TPM. TPM referred me to their EA, who then showed me, like he pulled up the code base and then he showed me um, the class and the method that we need to call to ensure that we can create this wallet for for the BRMs. And I took this information back to my team um, and then I of course showed them the class and then showed them the specific details of what they need to do to implement this feature. You need to be able to communicate to be honest. I don't think anything outweighs communication. Well, maybe technicality. But <laughs> I don't think anything that outweighs communication because the people you have that doing things with you, the people that probably reporting to stakeholders need to understand, okay, this is how these things are going and they need to trust you with the thing you're doing. And the only way they'll trust you is you are saying and doing, right? You are communicating, this is what we'll do and you're actually doing it. If there are challenges, you're telling them, hey, I face this challenge, I'll, I'll, this is how I plan to recover from this. So you need to be able to communicate, you need to also be able to communicate to people that you're working with that, hey, this is what we have to do. This is how we are going to do it, right? If you have opinions, let's let's agree and let's um, let's build, right? So yes, communication is very very important as well. Another core skill a think component manager should have is um, being able to carry out software testing on your products. So there's a QA engineer whose role is to test your product, but also as a product manager, you want to be able to test both your APIs and also the front end of your product to ensure that everything is meeting um, the business requirements, ensure that nothing is missed, that all gaps are covered because you're the best person really, because you communicated this requirement to your team, so you're the best person to actually ensure and verify that all these requirements are actually met. So yes, you definitely need to be quite good at software testing. Um, you also need to be able to think of things in in a pro product-like way. I know that sounds very abstract, but you need to be able to, you hear of a product, you need to be able to break down that product into, into units, right? Into smaller units. It's not easy. Um, it's definitely not easy to do, but you need to be able to think about things in objects, right? Okay. I'm building a product like um, payment, right? What does payment entail, right? Okay, there's going to be a, someone has to get the money, someone has to send the money, 
okay? Somebody that is sending the money needs to enter an account number. So I need to validate that account number. So what happens when validation fails? What happens when transferring it fails? Do I need to retry? So you need to think of all of those things. Because if you just think about, oh, I need to send money. Okay, of course, the user journey is send money, I get money, right? But it doesn't stop there, right? You need to, there are always failures, APIs can fail. So you need to be able to think of um, how to build your product in ways that um, is false tolerance, can recover. So yes, think that you, you need to be able to think of things in a technical way and then be able to break down all these um, bits or unit of things into smaller chunks and then you can then connect everything together. Being a technical product manager, it's about um, making an impact. It's about being a part of something much, much bigger than yourself. If that sounds like you, we've saved you a seat. Visit moneypoint.com slash careers today.